Hello and welcome to another video on SQL and in today's video we are going to look into a few more SQL uh, operations and these are basically related to the values which are coming in so like in like any and all so I want to compare my values let's say with the values which is coming in and see if they are true then I would like to that like any or all so these are the things I wanted to do and so let's begin our journey with the SQL Server Management Studio in this survey, in this series, we are learning uh, the SQL using SQL Server and we are using SQL Server Management Studio. I have already started the SQL Server service on my desktop and opened the SQL Server Management Studio from the Windows menu. And for our database, Learn SQL, which we are using since beginning, I right clicked and started a new query on that. So I am all set. Now let's first example, take an example of in clause. So if you're watching the series continuously, you are aware that we have few tables and one of the tables is basically we have the table as sales and we have item tables and all other few tables are available with us. So what I wanted to know is basically I wanted to know like, you know, uh, the in clause. So I want to get this, let's say brand one and brand two sales. So what I need is uh, select star from sales and brand one and brand two is available in item. So S inner join item i on i dot item id equals to s dot item id there is one error we are going to correct that now this is going to give me the uh, result when what I wanted for, you know, all 30,000 rows with sales and item information. Okay. So I'll get the category, subcategory and everything, but I don't want that. I want more than that. And hopefully the font is sufficient. Let me see if I want to increase it further. Let me keep it 170% for right now. So now I've done that. Now you, we got the results. Now what, what else we need? So what we wanted to do now here is basically, uh, I would like, you know, to bring in, let's say brand one and brand two data. So what I'm going to say, where item I dot brand in square parenthesis, single code brand one comma Brand two, and I run it. So I will get the results where I have brand one and brand two, 3000 such things are there. And you will see everywhere, wherever I see the brand, the result is brand one and brand two. Now, not only like this, I can use, I can use in clause when I'm actually can bring in the data from some other query. Okay. So how can I do that? Let me paste this. So instead of this one, I can actually bring in an in clause. So let's say I want the, a data where I want the data where the cat for all the brands, which are category one belongs to. Okay. So select brand or distinct brand, let me say, from item where category equals to category one. So here the sub query is going to give the results and those results we are going to use in. So now we are getting some 23,000 because uh, I category, there are quite a few brands which follows into the category one. So if you look at it, eight brands follows, eight brands have that. Let's try a category five. Category five has some less brands. There are only five brands in category five. So if I run it, I'll get lesser number of those. So what is happening in this case? It has those brands. Now, so we have looked into in, let's look at the like. Now what happens like is something when we do the text comparison, we don't know the complete text, then we wanted to go ahead with the like operation. 
so let's say i want you to know all the states which start with new or which has new inside that one so what i'm going to say select start from sales as inner join geography j on g sorry g dot city id equals to s dot city id fine so we'll get the results let's check it out is it working it's working giving 30000 rows also as the answer now we got the 30000 rows now what do we want where g, g dot state like new percentage now you are seeing only a 1532 rows because see look at the state name they have new as the first word i have given percentage afterwards okay now let me see is there somewhere where the new is in the middle so i given new percentage new but there is nothing like that and let me see is the new now if if we, even if i give percentage new then it is going to take up at the starting position also so first there should be something and then we should have new means new should be at the last at the something so we don't have any data where new is at the last so percentage new percentage new percentage where the, there is no nothing addition so new is always at the start so new percentage is something where we are getting the data okay so new is only at the starting now can i make this new capital is it the case sensitive comparison so in sql server the comparison is not case sensitive even though i am giving new in the capital i am able to get it now in the database where the comparison is case sensitive you can make it upper on this side and you can give all the value in upper or you can give all the value in lower and you can use the lower function so typically most of the database should have a lower function lower means lower case you can use this function on both the sides if required so now we got get this let me have a couple of versions for you so we know how to get like now not like if you want you can have see i don't want not i want not like then i can simply go ahead and put here not like fine so we'll get not like now we learned how to use in we learned how to use like now in like we can also use certain uh, you know regular expression and all those we can do there are different uh, ways we can do that so you can try those things also out now i want to try in or any for that let me do one more condition so let me bring in s dot sales so select star from s dot sales where now what i wanted to bring in i wanted to bring in certain conditions and i want to say where equals to any or equals to all okay so let me bring something i want to you know compare bring in city ids fine and i want to say equal to any any i want to return a query let's say 1 comma 2 something like that isn't it so what i can do basically here is i can say select one union all select two most of the database this select will work but in oracle you have to say select one from dual select two from dual okay so you have to say from dual here you don't need that here you can simply say select in most of the other databases you should be able to do so what i am saying is it should be equal to any of these values so what does it do and let me do one thing to understand this well let's say distinct this one so what is happening it can be equal to any of the value then you should give that value okay 
Now let me change these values a little bit. Let me say 5 and 10. It works. Now let me say now something any greater than any. What would happen when I say greater than any of the values? And let me let me also do order by one now. So in case of any, what should happen? Anything which is greater than five should come. So we are getting value data from five because it is any. And we, when we say less than any, anything which is less than ten should come because that's where the five will also include. So let me do one thing now. Let me um, set uh, try the all function all function now before that let me uh, you know put these things in less than and greater than so that you can try out and equal to also now let's after doing this let's you know start with all now first thing i will try with all is basically equal to so we say all now what i want to say is basically select distinct city from sales where city id equal to all select 5 and 10 so basically it's going to give me 5 and 10 so it's not written in user. Why it's not written in user? In the same row, you cannot have both the 5 and 10 value. So here it means the both the conditions should be true. Okay, all the conditions should be true with I'm doing. So let me try out when I do it with greater than what happens. Now previously you said when we say greater than everything above 5 we were getting. Now there are two conditions greater than 5 and greater than 10. Now what would happen in that case is greater than 10 is where both the conditions are getting satisfied. So we get now greater than 5 and greater than 10. So in that case, we are only getting greater than 10 because both the conditions are only getting satisfied for that. Okay, so now we are not getting uh, five uh, above 5 only. Now when I say less than, let me try less than now. So when I'm going to say less than, what would happen? Only the data which is below 5 is going to satisfy all that condition. So 1, 2, 3, 4 are the only one which is getting satisfied to that particular condition. So we are only going to get the condition where this is basically going to satisfy the condition basically where both are below the one so both the condition all the conditions so if i add one more let's say union all let's say if i add three here also union all let's say three so now there are only two values which are below three below five and below ten one and two so Based on those all three conditions, all the conditions need to be true. And that is why it is really difficult for equal to to have that. One value, how can you have three equal to value? Okay. So this is something which uh, is little bit tricky when you use. So go ahead and try these things out. Do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you. Keep watching, keep asking questions in comments, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos. Thank you.